the damn barnyard up here and I finally got bit. Welcome to the cheesiest intro I've ever done. Yeah, you just watched a 31-year-old overgrown man crawl out of a tackle box. Uh, obviously, I'm in a bit of a different rig here. Uh, I'm not running my wife's 17-foot Pro Sport anymore. My 2075 Pro V Bass showed up. Uh, I've spent the last few nights rigging it. Uh, we're gonna call her phase one of the rigging complete. Uh, still waiting on the jack plate to get on there so I can throw the Raptors on and, and all that business, waiting on a couple other just minor details, but I've got it set up uh, good enough so I can fish. I've got the Ultrex on, got some Canbat lithium batteries in here, uh, have a bunch of graphs on it, and yeah, definitely have enough to go catch some fish. So I'm gonna throw a couple baits in the boat. Uh, there's a couple baits I've been eyeballing and talking about all spring here, and this will be my first time bass fishing, so um, I'm gonna whip them around and hopefully ding dong some smallies. We back. Make sure everyone's good here. Controller's turning good, everything's working. Just add bass. They're not running that hot. A bunch came in, my very first cast of the bass season. Very first cast of this bait ever, too. Ooh, stretching them wires. Well, they just might not be fired up as I thought they were. Well, let's just see here. I don't want to feel that sweet sensation. Oh, and it's gonna happen, yeah. It'll catch, it's a good one too. <laughs> the first fish in the new rig with a brand new Z-Man bait. Talk about that in a second. That's a beauty though, that's how you wanna start your season. Season in the boat, my first fish in my other boat was a pike, so. We're doing way better than that. I'm gonna get back to the school here quick, but uh, this is a bait I've been dreaming about since it came out. It's a Z-Man darter. I just have it bit down on a smeltinator head here. And that was literally the first time I've ever put it in front of a bass, uh, with the exception of a dummy bait in the winter, but it mucked it. So we're in good shape. New Lund catches, life's good. Oh, that was the lightest bite on earth. I don't know if you could see that, but it just barely mauled it. I'm glad I got it bit down. It's a nice one. <laughs> Did I ever miss that? That's awesome. So you'll notice that I'm wearing some giant kind of fuzzball concoction. Uh, and I've officially made the transformation to, I guess, full breach YouTube mode here. Uh, looks ridiculous, but it's windy out. I want to get some good audio, so <laughs> I don't know. I definitely wouldn't wear this around anyone. So go easy on the chirps. Touched it. Just feathered it. The safety's off, fingers on the trigger here. There are some bass around. What's going on here right now is it's early spring. Uh, the ice has been gone for a little bit. Uh, oh, I missed them. The, uh, the smallmouth have moved from the wintering spots and they're in that mid transition before they start to hop on the kind of rock piles and shallower points. So I'm fishing them not overly deep, uh, 
but they are still deepish and they're just getting ready to move up onto the stru structure behind me here. Like all it takes is one nice day and be catching them on jerk baits and things like that. But for right now, this seems to be the deal. Here comes one. Oh, look how light they're biting that. I've got that little darter bit down to almost nothing. Just a tantalizing tail and they're just still like, I might have to pull out a drop shot and give that a little sample too. Okay, so these are a new bait this year. They're called long shots. They're a Laztec. They're looking pretty. The only baits I brought along tonight are all baits I've never used before. And it's ones that really look good for up here. They're literally all I brought. So that's kind of how much faith I have in them. Trusting my first bass fish of the year with uh, brand new baits. Just going to thread that underneath the bottom. Stick it just right out like that. That thing is so tantalizing. You just leave it motionless and it just goes for a swim. Got it all crooked right now. I'm going to fix that up. I saw him turn down on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, big one. <laughs> I've been catching some dumb ones up on the top. I'm just seeing them like crazy out off the sides. I don't think this is a bass. No, it isn't. I'll disregard my whole big speech there. <laughs> I wonder what we got then. It's on the long shot. So I got a light line. <laughs> Maybe a trout? Something big. Oh, I lost him. No way. Okay, well, it wasn't a bass. Promise you that. Huh. All right. There we go. Really been struggling. Caught some on top and they were pretty easy. And then just off the side of this thing, they've been picky. Um, at least down that long shot. Missed one right away, so this one I just let him eat it for a second. It's just hardly in the beak. I got a mess here. Sometimes that plastic stretches out so much. There you have it. Nice little beauty. Okay, the long shot catches him. Uh, no surprise there. Um, I'm probably going to jump around a little bit and try to find some that are a little bit shallower and, you know, a little bit less picky. But you'll see I got some clackers on my drop shot. Um, it's just kind of been a thing I've been doing now and I don't really ever see a reason not to have them on your bait. So, um, I, I stopped pouring them so much because the ice fishing season end, like the ones that I was selling, the glow painted drop shots with the clack shot uh, rattles. Um, what we're going to do is these rattles are really hard to find before. I've got like thousands and thousands of them. So they're going on the shelf. You can just pick up a three pack of rattles and whatever, put them on your own drop shot baits, put them on your jigs, put them on your frogs, do whatever you got to do, put them in front of your plastics. Definitely never hurts to have some rattles around, apparently. There we go. Rat. That's one of the beauties of the Z-Man. If that were a soft plastic of any other brand, I would have changed it a couple times already. Giving him a different look with that darter again. Sometimes that's all it takes, yeah. <laughs> That's a big one. I had him, I caught a little one there and they were looking at my drop shot. Just like starting to deny it and a lot of times that, that'll happen and you just give them a second look and all hell breaks loose. That's a nice one. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> how deadly is that? Yeah, that was cool how that worked out. 
staring at the drop shot, cut some little ones, deployed that darter again and bang shang a lang baby. All so far so good. Got into some brownies. Everything's been working great on the boat. Uh, just a couple small changes uh, with this boat and then last year's boat um, that have really been noticeable. One is the padded deck they threw on it. Uh, that's a mega upgrade, especially for a big unit with a bad back. Um, the other one is this console they changed. It's just like way more big dog in her graph setups a lot better on it and uh the other thing i've really noticed is having the lithium batteries in the front instead of lead acid i took a couple hundred pounds out of the bow or 180 pounds or whatever it was and you can really feel it just rip up on hole and able to get that bow rise now i'll do like a boat walk through later in the game i'm just kind of more about making sure everything is where i want it and tearing up a few smallies right now i'm going to try to get them a little bit shallower and just see if i can kind of get them on their way up that's usually when you really destroy them is the ones that want to move first or you know the ones you want to be fishing for where kind of the old slug goes sitting out deep or just potatoing around in the cold water i want the more uh more active ones so hopefully you can crack a few more i'm gonna try some new spots and piddle around a little it's so nice to be back on the lake bass fishing and in a bass boat like can't ask for a better night here everything's coming up millhouse <laughs> Finally crushed one casting. Been forcing this program for a little bit. Just kind of been bored of dropping on them. It's not a jumbo, but it's pretty sweet. Gotta hide that head a little bit, but that's on the full size darter on a prototype uh, prototype lure in the works that'll be available in the next month or so. That was fun. There's nothing like the bark of a bait caster. Doing this with a spinning rod is okay, but leaning back and laying the lumber is what bass fish is all about. damn barnyard up here and I finally got bit. Little one. I found him slinking on the top of this thing. He'll gut rest. Old stretchy worm. <laughs> I like that thing. Sweet. Oh yeah, and I think it's against YouTube regulations to make a video with the Pro XS without a fire up sound. <laughs> She's humming. Okay, well I was gonna catch one to end it on there, but I whiffed on it about three times. Um, good little night. Definitely a great way to start the bass fishing season. Caught them on uh, a couple of those new baits, which is pretty awesome. The one thing I didn't really get to play with much was this willow thing. It's like a chatter bait with a willow blade. Jig head. Um, it just didn't run like I thought it would down super deep. It'll be good like in that 8 to 10 foot range, but not down in the 15 foot range that I was fishing. It was just a little bit too light for that. Um, but anyway, yeah, the long shot and the darters were deadly. 
Um, there wasn't a time tonight where I was missing, uh, you know, my tackle box with, with all my traditional baits in it. So always fun when you can try out new gear and, you know, make it work. Um, those ones were kind of going to be a, a given that they were going to be good. So that's kind of another reason I don't really mind sharing them. Uh, but anyway, uh, like, comment, do some subscribing, subscribing, do some subscribing. And yeah, that's much appreciated. Uh, if you need any of the Z-Man stuff, there's a huge wall of it at headquarters in Winnipeg and Kenora. You can go online. Um, they got a bunch of it. I ordered it myself, so there's some good stuff there and hopefully I didn't miss anything. But yeah, check it out and we'll see you next time, hopefully for largemouth.